Welcome back to Rempip Bath and Beauty's Kitchen. And as promised, we are going to make silicone molds the very cheap way today. So what we have is you need a bowl that you're never going to use again. Please don't ever use the bowl again because the silicone, you know, you don't want to eat that. Um, we need lukewarm water. And as the catalyst, because if you've ever bought a mold making kit before, you have your silicone and you have your catalyst and then you combine them in equal parts pretty much and that's what makes the mold. Well, we are using Dawn Dish Detergent. Dawn Dish Detergent. I'm not speaking English well today. We're gonna use this as our catalyst. So I'm gonna put lots and lots and lots of Dawn in there. Yes, you do need lots. And we wanna get the water just a little bit soapy and apparently I'm not gonna wear gloves because now my hand is all wet. You don't have to necessarily. If the silicone starts sticking to your hand, um, put more Dawn in there. And the three things we're gonna mold, um, last week I told you I couldn't find my raspberry mold. So I have some of the bigger purple raspberries made in melt and pour. So I'm gonna make another raspberry mold. I have Hershey's Kisses. And hopefully I'll have enough out of the one tube for these Flips chocolate covered pretzels. Uh, the silicone I'm using, I don't, uh, I wasn't able to get the Walmart brand for uh, 97 cents. So I got the next cheap, the next cheapest one and it was $4 and 39 cents, 29 cents, something like that. It's still cheaper than your regular silicone molds. So what you need to do is you take off this part which I might have to have my handsome assistant assistant do oh there we go my handsome assistant assistant is my son now with us if you've never used tubed silicone before after you clip that off you still can't squeeze the silicone out of it it's got a seal like down in here that needs to be punctured there's a if you you and you'll use a caulk gun in order to do it on most caulk guns there is a uh, little thing that you can stick in there and puncture that with okay yeah so we don't necessarily need a screwdriver mace okay so I'm gonna have my handsome assistant get this all ready and have him squeeze the silicone I can't squeeze it in there my my hand strength isn't strong enough you gotta yeah there you go there see that you see why I'm not strong enough and you can see it's going in in strings oh that smells terrible <laughs> okay so and it smells terrible <laughs> Yeah, it's going in on all these little snaky like things. It's awesome. Yep. Just keep squeezing, baby. It doesn't it doesn't matter if it touches. It's oh you're just loving the way it looks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all just like one long ass fucking string. Um, excuse your oh, language. Sorry. <laughs> Pardon him. <laughs> I didn't mean to fucking no, Oh, I'm stop! <laughs> stop it! I'm just kidding. Uh, My son is like a sailor. Okay, let's stop that right now. I may need you to get more. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this silicone up in your hands, and you're oh, gonna your yeah, and you're gonna knead it. Try to keep it. See how it's all put together now. Try to knead it inside the uh, water to start with and if it starts to stick to your hands like I said add more dish detergent I think I pretty much uh, used enough but sometimes they'll get bubbles in there that's why you're kneading it together but the water will keeping it underwater while you're kneading it will help for it to stay soft you definitely need it to stay soft, stay soft for you to be able to mold anything in it. And this one needs to be a little bit thicker because I'm going to make this one my raspberry mold. And we may not get to the pretzels, I don't know, I may need two tubes. So okay, 
Will you remove the bowl for me, my child? Yes. Thank you. Actually, maybe I'll do the Hershey's Kisses in this one. Okay, so we're going to set it out. And it doesn't have to be, you know, I don't care if my stuff's not a perfect shape. That makes no difference to me. I have wax paper on my counter, by the way. I'm sure you can see that, though. I'm going to try to make this one a little bit squarish. Just a little bit squarish. Probably can't see what I'm doing. Just making it a square. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, yeah, I'll use the Hershey's Kisses. Stick it in there. Boom. And we're going to do, oops, I can't pick these up because my hands are wet. Oh, I want that in just a little bit more. Try to make it thicker, obviously, than what you're trying to mold. So we're only going to get four of these in here, which is fine, whatever. Okay, more silicone in there, baby, please. I'm going to have him squeeze more silicone in there. We're going to get these to stay down as much as possible. And later on, because this will dry, and we'll pop the candies out of it. Make sure you leave whatever you're molding in there until um, the silicone completely uh, hardens up. So, and then you can pop it out, obviously throw it away. Please don't eat it. <laughs> And later on, when these have dried, I will use melt and pour, and I'll show you how they worked. Good. Let me take that off. Okay, so we're going to do the second one, because I definitely need my berries done. I know you guys, I'm a little bit off camera, so I apologize for that. But we're doing the same thing. We're using the same method. Underwater, get the bubbles out. Make sure it doesn't stick. It does stink. Sorry, baby. I should have warned you it stink. But it's way cheaper, like I said. Compared to the mold kits you buy online and stuff, some, you know, they're an upwards of 20 bucks sometimes. Wow. Yeah, they're expensive. And when you can just do it by yourself for 97 cents ordinarily, because, you know, I don't, that's why. There wasn't any silicone at Walmart because they sell it for 97 cents. Okay, put this back in here. I want to, and you can't move it either. That's the problem. Okay, you can still see. I'm going to bring you guys and get a paper towel and wipe my hand, and I'm going to bring you guys in closer this time. I may have to angle you down. Okay. So this one I'm going to do a square again. Doesn't always have to be a square. If you watched my uh, my video in December when I showed you that I make these molds with this type of silicone, they were all different shapes, mostly round. But I need these square because I'm using deeper embeds. The one I use for the pretzel, if we have enough, will not need to be this deep. Okay, so we're going to take our raspberries, which I'm probably only going to get four out of this one too, which is fine. Like I said, the, the one that I had before only had four in it as well. So I'm used to making raspberries four at a time. And as you can see, I'm putting it back into its shape after I put the raspberries in. I'm so glad I had these melt and pour raspberries because I don't know what I did with in the sea of my molds with my raspberries. Okay. All right, rest of silicone, and then we will try to do the pretzels. How much is in there? Is it gone? Almost. Oh. Well, apparently we're not going to do the pretzels, guys, because we needed thickness for the, the raspberries and the Hershey's Kisses. All right, I'm gonna let these uh, set up and we'll come back and I will do uh, some melt and pour in them. All right guys, see you in a few. Okay, we're back. Um, my air conditioner's going, so it's like really hot. But they are set up, it's only been a few hours. So I can just go ahead and pop these out of here even though these were melt and pour, I will throw them away 
just for the sole fact that, well, they're soft from being in the silicone, the wet silicone. Uh, maybe paper towel. And let's get our Hershey's Kisses. See, so you can stretch them like you would any other silicone mold. Come out nice and easy. Yay! Okay, I should probably should have had the uh, melt and pour ready for you guys, but let me go ahead and melt up just a little bit of melt and pour. I'll, I'm just going to do one color um, and make them both in that color just so I uh, can show you. So I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, you guys. I don't think I got the footage of me pouring the melt and pour in here. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Well, I did. I melted some of the raspberries that uh, were in that thing just so I could show you. I apologize. Oh my goodness. Anyway, <laughs> in a few um, 20 minutes or so, I'll go ahead and I will unmold these for you so you can see how they work. I was saying as I was pouring it that you can use these for wax. I frequently use my homemade um, silicone molds for wax. They hold up to that very well. And also, um, I had told you guys that I'm working on the summer window for my showroom upstairs. And I think it's turning out quite adorable. So I'm going to leave you guys a picture of that at the end of the video. And because I'm not doing a summer tour. So, all right, I'm going to let this set up and I shall be back. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I first want to apologize if my son has a mouth on him like a sailor. And I'm going to try to edit out everything he said, but I'm not sure that I can. So if the video seems choppy at the beginning, it's because I was able to edit out some of his language. But if not, again, I apologize for his mouth. I should have reminded him he was going to be on camera. Okay. Woo. So, um, the other thing I want to say before we unmold these is, as my son said, these do stink. It does stink. Yeah, it stinks. It's almost like a vinegary smell. But as the mold cures over time, that smell will dissipate. So, all right, just like any other mold, we're going to... It's pretty flexible. Let me pop them on all out. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So here is our Hershey's Kiss. And there's the real Hershey's Kiss. I'm hoping you can see. So they do pretty well. Okay. And for, move these out of the way, for the blackberries. Well, raspberries, whatever, blackberries. These are the color of my blackberries. Off you go. So I didn't fill these all the way up, but okay. Here is my, the blackberries that are from store-bought. Oh, I'm not, I'm sorry. This isn't store-bought melt and pour. This is the melt and pour that I buy, but the mold was a store-bought mold. Oops. And this is the raspberry that came from the silicone mold. Gosh, I hope that we can see these really good. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun to do to make these molds. You can mold whatever your heart's desire. But with these, you know, if it needs to be deeper, you obviously need more silicone. I would have been able to do the pretzels had I had a, another tube. But even at $4.29, it's still cheaper than buying molds, first of all, and second of all, for sure, mold kits. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. You know I always answer them, my lovelies. So I will see you on Friday. Have a good rest of your week. Bye-bye.